Okay, let's continue GarageBand's interface and focus on the top half, but not a field goal though. Well, 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 would you look at that? We've avoided the biggest section of GarageBand, which is this whole hunk of a chunk section right here. And it does need a name, so let's go ahead and give it a name. And how about Timeline Grid? Yeah, yeah, I like that, Timeline Grid. Okay, let's go with that. Okay, so if you haven't figured it out already, this is where all of the waveform and region areas, or audio regions are, as well as the timeline ruler, which is placed on the top right here. Now, this is the master timeline, which uh, also works in conjunction with what we learned before of the LCD screen down here. So if you take a look, it's on 12 beat 1, and the play marker is on 12 beat 1 up here at the top. Now, not only does the timeline really show us the measures, but it also shows us the notes. And if you click and drag the play marker, the play marker is going to snap to every individual note that you um, that you are uh, hovering over or sliding over to. Just like that. See how it's kind of snapping to each one as I move it along? Okay, now this also gives us a linear look at our project. Um, if we slide down to this, this slider guy right here, we can zoom out and take a bird's eye view of our entire song. We can see the beginning of it and the ending of it. And if we slide back down to that little slider guy again and zoom in, we can zoom in pretty much to a couple measures or so just about just like that so if we wanted to take a closer look you can zoom in like that and I'm gonna go about halfway or so right there's fine okay now what's really cool about the uh, timeline ruler at the top is if you go to this top right corner over here see how it has a little ruler icon go ahead and click on that and this gives us the option to select a different note. So as of right now, the 16th note, every 16th note is um, shown on the timeline ruler above right here. So each one of these dashes is a 16th note. Now if we wanted to change this to, let's just say quarter note, see how the timeline changes to quarter notes now. See now there's only four within each measure. Now that's really cool, and along with uh, the timeline changing, the play marker changes as well. As well as, as far as uh, you clicking and dragging, it's going to snap to each one of those quarter notes, just like that. That's a good way to uh, keep track of our song. So please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any requests, please send them to request at mahalo.com. I do remember, darling, the time we spent on my roof just staring.